modeling of a sidestep cage ladder. So to start modeling this cage ladder, I have already here a platform. Let's say this is around six meter high from the ground and it needs a cage ladder to access. So first, I'm going to establish the support of the ladder at the platform level. So I want to extend this for, let's say, around a meter for now. Now, I need to a reference line from here to the ground let's say the height of the ground to the top of grating at 6 meters and I need to move this up by 32 millimeter for the grating also I want this reference line to be 500 millimeter from the edge of the grating. So right now we have a meter away. So I have to move that back 500 meters. Okay. This will conform with our standard drawings that says this is 380 minimum up to 530 maximum. So right now we are at 500 so we are okay. And by the way, this new standard ladder detail is now based on the fabrication drawings that we have recently. Most specifically is the top hoop location, which is this one here, and the spacing right here. This is based on our handrail, top handrail and the mid rail level. So from here, we need to have our UCS facing this way, X in this direction and Y in this direction. If we take a look at that on top view, this is how your orientation of the UCS should look like. So now we are ready to place the ladder from the bottom to the top of grating. Here it will give you the advanced steel default ladder. In the library section, I have established these three uh, libraries for specific uh, type of ladder. In here, we, uh, we will be using the side entrance cage ladder. Here. The default height is 5 meters that we need to modify according to what our design needs. So to change that height, just go into the ladder height in here, change it to 6 meters. That gives us the right height that we need. 
also these supports in here you notice are variables it varies where you do need them so in here in my in, in the library i created Uh, just go to the wall connection here. My default first support location at, is at 750 millimeter from the bottom. Now, that's up. That's gonna be up to you uh, to establish where your first uh, supports going to be. Let's say we put this at 500 millimeter from the ground, for example. And you only want two supports towards the top here. So you have to measure. So this is 500 from the ground. You will be measuring the mid point of this to the midpoint of the channel in here so that gives you 5366.5 wherein that is what you are going to place on this connection here so it starts from 500 from the bottom and your next spacing is 5366.5 that would give you your next support exactly where you want that now if you want an intermediate support or a halfway support in here simply divide the spacing by two Let's say 5366.5 over 2. That would give you 2683.25. 2683.25. There. This will give you this uh, ladder in here. Now, <clears throat> so we have established support. We have established the, the cage. Now, we need to have to detail this into the partial hoops. So uh, what we need to do is to delete the box in here to remove uh, the intelligence of the ladder because we could not uh, place the partial hoop design into the library. So we need to delete these two partial hoops and copy a block that I created for such let's say for example I, I will put that into a library later but for now I will just copy these two partial blocks partial hoops from this uh, existing one let's say from the same work point to this same area here that gives up that, that gives us the two partial hoops that we needed the, the, the spacing that we require and everything now we just have 
to stretch this uh, three bars in here by measuring the distance Let's say 1500 down. There you go. So the last thing you, you will do in here, so this is connected to this uh, handrail post. You also would want to connect this part here to this handrail post. If we want, you can extend this uh, top rail to here and connect and then extend this mid rail here to connect and same thing with the kick plate here to connect that would give you your final uh, ladder exactly where you want to be just put just extend this handrail to here this mid mid rail here and the kick plate in here that would finally give you a ladder in our model thank you very much for watching and let me know if you have questions or on how to uh, work around with this bye for now